Hello everyone! Welcome back to Lose Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. And uh, when we last left our hero, uh, we had gotten killed by this boss here. Bosses, uh, Sun and Moon. Um, wasn't pleasant, but uh, I think we got him this time. Or I hope we got him this time. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you can't tell, um, I've uh, repositioned uh, the microphone a little bit. I've also boosted it another 10 dB. It's actually boosted 20 dB. Oh, that was a terrible bit of lag. Um, it's actually boosted 20 dB, and I don't understand why. I, I really, you know, I am um, I am not a fan so much of Windows 7 and a lot of, uh, you know, what's been going on here. Um, you know, just the way things are done, the way things are hidden a little bit more. I never had Vista. Um, in case anybody cares, uh, I never had Vista. I managed to dodge it entirely. I went straight from uh, XP on the old machine to 7 on this machine. Um, but going by what I see on 7 and how everyone's like, oh, 7 is so much better than Vista, 7 so much better than Vista. Yeah, I'm really glad I never had Vista because I have, I'm, I'm, yeah, I have a little bit of issues. I mean, I think it's, it's a really good operating system, but yeah, I've, I've got problems. So, here we get another piece of the Star Rod, and that's what I've, I've learned because I did a little bit more research on this. Um, the Star Rod has been broken up into pieces by King DDD. And it's up to us to put it back together again. So that's what he he's distributed to his minions, and we are getting it back. So here we go in level four, Grape Garden. And uh, yeah, so I I I don't have any kind of P filter um, for this microphone. So um, and it's it's actually quite close to my mouth right now. So there are some sounds that may get picked up. A little, yeah, like that. <laughs> um, avoid sound. You know, words with the letter P in them. Um, I actually. Uh, I, I've actually taken uh, classes in, in recording, mostly music recording, like concert recording, um, but I do know a few things about microphones. I know enough that I know I have an absolutely horrible one. Um, I, I, I've just never bought a good microphone, and I don't have... Oh, here we go! Oh, oh, okay, I don't have a power. Oh, here we go. This is it. The best power in the game is the UFO power. Here it is. You can hover, you can go back and forth uh, like this. So if you quick tap A, you get the beam power. If you hold it slightly, you get the laser. Oops. Laser, laser, laser. Hold it a little bit longer, you get a star, which is like if you inhaled an enemy. And if you hold it really long time, so that little beam in front goes solid, um, you get one of those charge stars, which is, which which is what you get if you inhale two enemies at once. And you see that just keeps on going. Um, be a little bit careful here. You don't want to lose this power up because, it, like I said, it, you only get it in a few places. This is the easiest place to get it. I think it, it makes two more appearances. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you something really quick here. You see up top, right here, you see that brick that I just knocked out that was right here? Yeah, did you see how it had an, that outline? It's a little secret, means there's a door there. And that's how you clear that out and get this extra area. And like I said, uh, what I was trying to say in the last video is that the, um, the levels themselves, the worlds, uh, end up being some form of rectangle. So if you have a world that's not a rectangle, and that means you missed something. Another indicator is the doors. I think I think I mentioned this, but I don't remember because I may have. Oh, see, he's being a tough guy. Ah, no! I thought I could get him with the charge star. I didn't realize that he could avoid that too. Um, the um, the levels uh, will form perfect rectangles, but I don't remember if I if I mentioned this or not. Um, but uh, see, now we have to lose the UFO power. So say goodbye to the UFO power. You can't take it with you. It's like Yoshi and. Um, Galaxy 2 or Sunshine or you know it, it, it's too powerful. I mean you, you it's too powerful. Oh wow that's that. Oh see sorry. I apologize for that in advance. I'm if you see if you saw how I've rigged this up it's just so ridiculous. Um I should have the mic like taped to a, a hat and uh that's how it's working. I mean this, this is how bad this is. I mean I I I really should just buy a microphone or just or like a headset. That 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 would be ideal actually. I really should just buy something like that. Oh do all three things. Um, yeah, I apologize for that. Maybe I'll rig some sort of P-fill drop, which is what I was trying to say. If, um, if you guys have ever, if you've ever taken recording classes or know anything about recording, you know that the sound, the P sound, is, is just this huge, like, it's just like a wall of air, like, attacking your microphone. It's only a P. Uh, B, like, B sounds like a bumblebee. Um, we'll, we'll sort of do it too, um, but it, it, it's really P, like, proud or, or post. Or you know things like that, um, and it's it just this giant puff of air, um, which is and but if you have this um, filter, which you can actually you can buy or you can rig if you have uh, um, 
especially if you have a, a lady in your life that has um, has stockings, um, you can rig it up, um, stretch it really tight, and, and if you've got like something again, or if maybe you do, I don't know. Um, I, I assume most of the people watching this will be of uh, the gentlemanly persuasion, but you never know. Um, uh, yeah. So yes, uh, stockings, and then um, if you have like um. Uh, what do they call those hoops? Are they like embroidery hoops? I think they are. Um, you can sort of make a makeshift. Um, oh, those two idiots canceled each other out. Um, you can make a makeshift um, like filter, and it works wonders. It's it's really cool, actually. I've done it before, um, but I I don't know how I would rig it to to, to fit this current situation. So, anyways, I apologize for that. Uh, it's still learning. Still uh, work in progress here. So what you want to do here is kill one of them and then get his power and then just spam it and then just go to town. Um, spam is... Oh, wow, that didn't kill him. Wow, oh boy, now I gotta really be careful. Uh, I want this power. I'll, you'll see why in a second. So, I didn't mention this, but when Kirby has a limited use power, like this one, uh, he flashes, which is kind of cool. He actually turns a slightly different color. I don't think I mentioned this either, but when he has a power, he turns... See, see the Kirby holding the sign there? He's pink. He's a real, real pink. And this Kirby here, well, he'll, he'll be flashing, but you could kind of see there. He actually is more of a peach color. It's, it's, it's a very, very slight difference. Um, but it's there, in case you care. All right, so this is why I wanted the, uh, the bomb power. We have our first cannon in the game. And you see it's got this giant wick. And um, so we have plenty of time. So what you're supposed to do... Oh, gosh, this is going to sound awful with all that pee, pee, pee sounds. Ugh. Um, but yeah, so what you're supposed to do is take the enemy that has the uh, the fire and grab him and light the fuse. But, oops, I didn't mean to jump in just yet. With the bomb power, it also lights the fuse, which is kind of cool. You have all the time in the world to jump into this cannon um, to play around with it. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, fully in it or poking out. Um, but yeah, there will be occasions coming up um, in the not too distant future that uh, that's going to be quite difficult to make the timing on that. Um, it, it, it's actually, um, whoa, I forgot the good thing that was under there. Um, again, I, I have played ahead a little bit in this, so um, we will not miss the secret that I missed in my test run, which is also a test of the new microphone placement. Here you go, so you want to come all the way to the end. Oh, what did I do? Oh no, I screwed it up. Oh no, I'll have to come back. Uh, just what I need is something to take more time. Oh wow, I can't believe I just did that. Just as I was saying, oh, you know, don't worry, oh, you know what, maybe I should, well, if I die, then I have to, I'm not going to come back to where I was, I'm supposed to be. Uh, there was a secret area. Well, not a secret area, it was kind of in plain sight, I just chose to ignore it. Um, how did I even do that? Oh well. Hopefully there aren't any, like, Kirby experts out there. I said this in the beginning. If you're a Kirby expert and you're expecting a full-on, you know, like, total pro skills Kirby player, yeah, you haven't found one. I just am a real fan of the franchise, and, um, I honestly, uh... Oh, yeah, speaking of the franchise, I meant to say what about the UFO power, is you can kind of see how, um... I really don't want to die here. Um, how they, uh, led into, in, uh, you know, the, um... The Kirby game, oh, which I completely forgot the name of, was Superstar for Super Nintendo. How all the powers could sort of have different effects if you charged them or did different things with them. Um, the basis for that is, um, I think, in the UFO power. So, Okay, so here's what I was trying to say. I don't think I ever actually got it out. But you see the door here is actually orange, and the other doors are white. If you've turned over a door and it's orange, that means you've missed some sort of secret area in the game. So um, be aware of that, and as you know I just did... Uh, we have to go back and get it. We're gonna die in the process, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, that's life. Um, the other thing is, um, ah, the wind is taking me. Um, yeah, there, I just died. Um, the, obviously, the, uh, the, the one-up that was in the cannon, you know, when we went to the cannon, that, that, that doesn't respawn, um, when you restart the level, so you can't get, like, unlimited lives by, like, start selecting. Um, it's not a Mario game. Um, it's one of those instances, I think, where this game actually got, you know, something right versus a Mario game. Now, I love Mario games, but there are things like that where it's like, come on, I mean, in some cases, the, the, the exploits for the unlimited one-ups are a little on the ridiculous side, so. Um, so yeah, here's where we were supposed to go, is all the way down here to this little door. And, um, just, uh, it's a little tricky with the wind, but, um, you know, that's where it is. And you see, see what I mean? Again, it had that little bit that was jutting out. Generally, it goes in order, so, um, if you've got a, something jutting out, like, way behind where you are, um, chances are you've missed something. 
So, uh, anyways, uh, moving right along, um, here, uh, ah, trying not to die. Oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't have time for this. <laughs> We've got to move. We got a lot of stuff to cover. I I'm probably not going to cover these bonus games in arenas. I may off camera. Um, oh, jeez. Here we go. Ooh, the beam power. Great. That's what they had anyways. Although I think I would have gotten the parasol power. I think the parasol power trumps the beam power. And when you get the guys that have the guys on the parasols that have the beam power, I think you automatically get the parasol. Parasol power. Well, whatever. Um. So uh. Lost my train of thought again, oh no! So, uh, anyways, um, this is Kirby's Adventure. Uh, this is gonna be another one of those moments. Um, oh yeah, okay. Well, we'll just take this power here. And, uh, keep going. So, again, this is an instance where you sort of, they give you the power. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about, is unlimited lives and how, um, you know, that's kind of something, you know, it, it, it's fun in Mario games, but there becomes there comes a point where it's like, okay, this is ridiculous. Am I actually going to do this? This is hard. This is, like, seriously hard. That is really hard to do, viewers. I don't know if you count how hard that is. You have to time that absolutely perfectly. Um, I'm really glad I did it. I don't want this power, though. And he's going to hit me. He's going to hit me. He's going to hit me. No, he's not. Aha, I'm smarter than you, Mr. B, man. I, I really have no idea what these enemies are called. It's awful. It's not Mario where I can tell you everything about everybody. Well, almost everybody. There were some instances of Mario. Um, oh, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Um, so, in, in case you were watching, if you've watched both Let's Play series, um, the end of the Mario uh, Let's Play walkthrough, uh, I meant to say, and I, and I can't believe I forgot this, um, but when you finish the whole game of, of Mario Bros. 3, I'm talking about, in case you don't know, um, when you finish Mario Bros. 3, and I totally meant to say this and show it, um, and you you, all, you can go back and restart the game. It, it doesn't have any kind of more difficult setting, um, but it's um, it's got a... Um, it, your inventory is completely full with P-Wings, which is kind of cool. Uh, I meant to say that in my last part of the Mario series, which was like eight videos ago at this point, but what are you going to do? So, um, okay, I... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try one more. I don't remember if this is a long one or not. Um, my timer's gone off, so I know I have three minutes left, so we're going to try and do this as quickly as possible, and then we'll have to leave the last level and the, um, the boss. Yeah, this is what's going to happen now, is because I've, I've screwed it up the once, is that we're going to keep getting out of sync. Although the levels do get longer anyway, so uh, I think we would have had to do this eventually, so. Uh, if you're like, a, oh, well, this part? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, this is a little bonus area. I, I didn't even pay attention uh, to what I was doing. Um, yeah, so. So you see Kirby? He's got that, that, I don't know, I, you might not even be able to tell on, on YouTube, but, oh, jeez. That worked, well, like, if I had any other power besides that beam, that would have worked. But, anyway, so, we gotta stock up on one of Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, gosh, that just, oh, that's my mic again. Um, yes, that's what I was saying. I might off-screen the bonus games to get, like, one-ups. Um, so if you see me with, like, you know, all of a sudden come back with, like, 50, well, I won't have that many. Uh, but if I come back with, like, a lot of extra lives, that's probably why. Uh, but in the mo for the most part, I don't think that I'm going to need to do that right now. I, I should be okay. Or close to okay, anyways. Um, we'll see what happens in, in the end. Um, the last boss, um, like I alluded to, um, is, is quite serious, actually. I remember I remember being quite the challenge growing up. Uh, good lord. I am not doing well. That's why we can get away with calling this a Let's Play and not a walk. Ugh. Sorry if I've offended you diehard Kirby fans and pro players, but, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to live with it. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so, I'm gonna try and, uh, do my wrap-up now, so, um, I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, please comment, please rate, subscribe, um, anything that you think I can do better, uh, besides not dying, uh, I do not want to replay this level, too, um, besides not dying, um, please let me know, and I will hopefully, um, Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm definitely gonna die here. I really needed that fireball. Um, so I'm gonna leave you with this level here. And oh, wow, that was that was awful. So, all right, well, thanks for uh, joining me in this part of Lose Let's Play uh, Kirby's Adventure. Um, oh, well, I, I guess I can finish off the level itself. I hadn't realized that you don't. <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. I'm like totally out of it right now. Um, I, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for everything. Um, but yeah, so don't forget to rate, comment, or subscribe. Um, and uh, oh, here we are. Oh, we're there already. So we got plenty of time. I hope I can never get up here. 
Uh, yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, or subscribe. And, uh, yeah, join me next time for, uh, episode 5 of, uh, Lou's Let's Play of, uh, Kirby's Adventure. That's the name of the game. Yeah, Kirby's Adventure. Alright, see y'all next time, everybody.